Hello and welcome to the video. We're going to take a look at C. And now I'm using REPL IT as you can see up here. REPL IT and you can select the languages that you want and has many different languages. So you just select C, you start a session and by default it will create this program include fcdo.h and it'll create this program. And this program doesn't do anything but uh, really output to see or not to see. Uh, actually, I changed it because it said hello world up here, but now it says to see or not to see. Now, this is the main program to uh, the, the the main the 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 main met the main function. Excuse me, the main function and everything that executes in the program begins and ends here. It begins at the first line. Now you can add a whole lot more code and it'll execute from top to bottom then it just returns zero now it might not seem like much but this program is actually packed with a lot of fundamental concepts for example you have this directive here that says include stdio.h and that's part of the standard library that gives you certain functionality a lot more than what is here but certainly part of what's here like printf and other things like getting input and, and so on so it's very important that it that you have that at a minimum. Now, as you get as you progress in your learning experience, you will add additional libraries that you will need for your programs. So, now one thing about C, and I don't see a comment here, but a comment in C is performed by putting these characters place that's opening up a comment in this closes the comment and everything in between here gets ignored actually everything between here and here gets ignored by the compiler so here you can put things like you know just any kind of information for example I want to put author and then maybe I want to say uh, uh, description And all of this gets ignored. So that's your basic C program. Now we got to cover a little bit more. So for example, there's printf. Two two key things about basic input and output. Now this is output. This is output to the screen. Now I can type a whole bunch of different things. But let's say for example we had a program, and I I said I have a program that says. And one thing about uh, outputting to the screen that you will notice, I didn't do printf, I have to do printf. And just to demonstrate, you will notice that if I had a menu and, you know, uh, for English, press 1, assuming it's a program like the telephone. When you call, now it, once I output this and let's get rid of this line. Once I run this, you'll notice that everything's in one line. So to get around that, we use an escape character escape character for new line and we do that after each one of these you could do it anywhere in you could do it actually anywhere in in the in in the um, in the statement and it'll do it I mean if I did it here for example it would put a new line right before service I run it and you notice customer service got split because I have this here so very important now for example, okay, so you have this output. Now you want to get some input. Well, to get input, let's say, for example, we had an integer variable, and by default, we'll set it to zero. And we can do something like this.
And notice what I'm about to do here to choice. The reason that I have to do this to choice is because I have to pass it by reference. Because scanf requires you to pass the variable by reference. This is the address operator. So basically, I'm passing the address of choice so that when scanf reads the input, it can store the value in choice. And that's just the way it works. Uh, we'll come back to that later on when we talk about addresses and address of operator and pointers and that sort of thing. But now we, you see the choice and this output what you selected. And when we run that, you can see, okay, so I haven't input anything. So let's say I do one. It says you selected one. And that's really all for now. Just remember printf and scanf, very important. That's how you get input. Printf is for providing output to the screen, and scanf is for getting input. Now you can get other types of input. In this case, I just showed where you get an integer. We'll get more into that as we go when we start talking about the different data types. For all, for now, that's all, and thank you for watching.